The PyHall we have installed on our previous videos now has an update. I know this because I logged into the web GUI and when you go to the bottom of the page, I see few blinking items. It shows that there is an update for the PyHall itself, the FTL as well as the web interface. And I'm going to show you how you can update it using two simple commands. First, we're going to check the uh, version uh, information and then, then simply we're going to run the update. You can run these commands either through the terminal of the operating system that which the PyHall is installed, in my case is Ubuntu, or when you log into the PyHall with the SSH, you can use the same command on the SSH terminal to update your PyHall. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to close the PyHall web interface. I'm going to open my terminal. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easy for you guys to see. And I'm going to enter the command sudo pyhole dash up. And it's going to ask for the password. And once you enter that password, what that's going to do, it will go and fetch any updates that are available and it will start installing those updates. So depending on your uh, operating system and how fast your internet connection, this might take a while. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is to verify that our pyhole now has been updated. To do that, we're gonna type in sudo and then we're gonna type pyhole dash v and then we're gonna press enter. Since we have already entered the sudo password previously, it's not going to ask you that, but you might get a prompt for that here as well. And here we see that the PyHall version has been updated to version 5.12 and the other versions has been updated as well. Now, if I go back to my PyHall, so if I open my Firefox and open the web GUI by logging into the web GUI IP address, and if I go to the bottom of this page, now those blinking update requests are now gone. So that is gone now. That means this PyHall is now up to date. So that's how you can update or upgrade your PyHall in few simple steps. Again, you can run these either directly through the terminal where the PyHall is installed, or you can use a SSH terminal with the same commands, and then you will be able to upgrade your PyHall. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.